they were Star Trek fans. And so they said, we know that you can change the And I said, I'll make it easier. It's called It's called the Traveling Space Museum. And the thing on the museum is you stand behind me. Simulated skills of the toy. These kids come out and they have hands on. Where's Kevin? Let's get on. I was going to space. He really loves direction. Traveling space. Listen, everybody, I know you're getting impatient and you're now you're flashing. And uh, I have a secret police here. <laughs> They are among you. You will be taken away Please if you not. flash. I tell you what, flash now and then forever hold <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I don't have to. Uh, I think Doris has got the camera. <laughs> 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 That's exactly yeah, what we're going to do. And then somewhere in the middle, in the body, I have a dog's like. Uh, no. One, one sentence. I may go back to that. But if it may have no connection whatsoever. And this is all zip, 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 zip. Okay. This has no relationship to anything to anything. Yes. I might pop you into the middle of something else. Okay, and he comes somewhere else. <laughs> so so uh, this is uh, uh, what's important is to understand that you're, you were a fan. And out of, out of that fandom has come the space music. And taking care of the educating the kids uh, today, and that's the result. And as quickly as that, so we can pop it in and pop it up. It doesn't require a lot. Otherwise, we have to start editing. So, uh, so Ivor, why don't you stay up your opposing high ground? And the, and the cop got very true to this bit. Uh, and you're the camera. Better back. <laughs> they said it. They said it. Yeah, they said it. I said it. He's 6'4". Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rest of the camera. Are you shooting down that way? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a young man. That's great. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, wide and tight, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Michelle's just going to ask him a question. He's gonna go, and that will be. I mean, he's gonna go, and then no one flashing, and be quiet, please, just for a few minutes. The uh, uh, Ivor Dawson has an interesting story. If you strain your ears, you'll be able to hear.
I was when I was a child. And a lot of children we're finding out um, don't know about science. There's very little science literacy. They're not reading the science fiction classics that all of us have been going to work with. Like the two of like the way the two of the worldwide are doing. And we hear really given the space program, given the natural nation is being outsourced. And there wasn't a space race. Star Trek began in the heart of the space race, the competition, the US and the Soviet Union, and everyone seemed to be involved and everybody wanted to do things together. NASA sent ambassadors out to schools. That's not happening anymore. So I felt I've got to help do something to bring that experience back. I ran into so many astronauts that said they became astronauts because somebody came to their school. Yes. Or this is why I, I <laughs> because Star Trek that they believe yeah. in the dream. And, so and that they would be in the it takes one person to influence millions. What is a what is a fan the mean? What does that mean to being a fan means being a part of a family. Uh, there are uh, people of all races, occupations, endeavors. But when you talk, I was a part of it. And then when I got to meet you, you. Yeah. That's exactly perfectly absolutely. Thank you. Honor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. You were just wonderful. Thank you. Some of you, some, some of you were more wonderful than others. <laughs> you were absolutely super. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, David. Yes, David. What do we do now? Well, you forgot something. All right. So let's take a break. Well, maybe you forgot something. I was going to come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do.